goal. Or should I say, the dream. Is to build a colony. A self-sufficient new world. Far away from Earth. We know it's not and going with those to be words, easy. we're being led into the trailer for Surviving Mars, a game made by Tropico developers Hainmond, who are obviously known for their Tropico games. And we'll be working on this game uh, till at least 2018. And in all honesty, this is a game that for me seems to be fascinating. I've always really liked city builders. Um, Games like City Skylines is obviously a good example in this particular case, but obviously Tropico and its relevant series has always been a joy to play. And from what I understand so far is, is that the game that they are developing has some similar systems in place as Tropico had, however, on a less comedy focus. There is no El Presidente, obviously, in this particular case, but more of a hard science approach with serious problems that can occur on your colony and now the tagline for this game um you know success with the least amount of uh, with the least amount of casualties is um kind of an indicator already that this game is has some funny undertones and of course the trailer itself is already showing a bunch of these one of the things that i thought was really interesting when it comes to uh, actually taking a look at some of the images for this is that it has really a stylized 1950s approach with big bubble domes and not like a magna tunnels where um, you know your colonies are being built and uh, landing ships that are kind of inspired by the spacex uh effectively a space bus what it effectively is but yeah the giant domes for some bizarre reason there seems to be wind on mars strong enough to um yeah basically move um fans for wind energy which is you know a little bit interesting considering the uh, mars's atmosphere is not thick enough to do anything like that which was probably also one of the weakest parts of uh, the martian where you know everything is being blown asunder by a giant storm which effectively should only be a very minimal breeze but yeah we're seeing a lot of solar panels in here big bubble houses and a lot of very interesting stuff when it comes to mining we got asteroids in there as well, and apparently there is discoveries to be made on Mars as well. So, what do we have? Well, a game that seems very similar in design, or at least in engine-wise, to Tropico, with a couple of elements um, of games such as uh, Anno 2205, which I've played in the past as well. Very fun stuff uh, if you want to have a look at the game. Uh, you know, that may be a good indicator of where they are going with this, although, of course, Anno is more of a industry development game rather than, you know, a build a colony on Mars, and in 2105, there is a moon base element that uh, also has a lot of bubble stuff going on. But yeah, Surviving Mars, it's uh, coming out sometime during 2018, and sure, we're going to hear more once uh, Gamescom starts to come around. And uh, I'm really curious what we're going to see from this game. Very excited, very exciting times, uh, both from Heymon and, of course, in this case, Paradox Interactive. And uh, let's see where this game will take us. Let's hope to a bright future for us underneath the stars. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like or a subscribe. And of course, if you didn't like it and you're like bubble stuff in the 1950s like Tintin, what is wrong with you and your retro futurism? Well, there's the dislike button as well. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and most definitely, neat shutter.